My slice, my slice. With you. Did I mention this was my slice? All the way over to my, I'm, I'm you know, collecting a little pile of food to take home. Okay, uh, oh yeah, I've got a Juliana top on. That's right, that's right. It's part of our uh, spring fashion preview. You can shop there, you can check out all the great deals. And by the way, if you love fashion, love accessories, join me every Tuesday. I'm even here this Tuesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern with another edition of What a Girl Wants. Now the rest of the day is crafts, but seven to nine on Tuesday, it's gonna be all fashion and fun. So I hope you can hang out with us there. All right, guess who's here? It's Chef Shahir Masood with an incredible hour of Kitchen HQ. How you doing? How you doing? Lots of good food today. Lots of good food. Did you bring your appetite? I hope you did, because you got the cake, you got the ham. <laughs> We're doing soft serve ice cream. We're nice. Doing a lot of fun stuff. Uh, tell us about the soft serve ice cream. Maker. Okay, so at Kitchen HQ, we figured out a way to get the perfect soft serve consistency at home. Sarah, wait to see what do we do. We're gonna do vanilla, chocolate, we're gonna do sorbets. And just like any other ice cream maker, it's gonna churn. You pour your, your base into it. Pull the lever just like at a soft serve ice cream shop. Amazing. And it comes out, comes with the cups. It's so fun. We got the, we got an amazing value. No one else has this yeah. at this price. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to start with a five and five. Yep. Uh, Shahir, can you do five items in five minutes? I can do five and five. All right, let's do, do it. it. Okay, we're going to start. Take it to the the knives. Knives are first. Okay, let's go to the knives. These are <laughs> our forged knives from Kitchen HQ. So cheaper knives are stamped steel. This is forged steel. When you talk about good quality chef knives, forged steel is what you want. And for me, these are the three knives any kitchen needs. You've got the eight inch chef knife, a seven inch santuku, that's great for top down cuts, and then a three and a half inch paring knife. Sometimes you see the knife block with nine different knives. It's intimidating, it's expensive. You really only need three You really need knives. three. Uh, by the way, it's 50% yep. off. Don't blink or you're going to miss all of these items coming up are some of the best values we've ever offered from Kitchen HQ, our exclusive brand here at HSN. Ergonomic $15 well. for three They're knives. Great. You can't even get one of those knives for $15. And they are okay. sharp, which is what you want. Number two, measuring cups and spoons. Also 50% off. They're $8.47. You can uh, also get these in lots of different colors as well. Red, teal, or white. Dishwasher safe, and they collapse. So you get the cup, the half cup, the third cup, everything you need. You also get the tablespoons and the teaspoons, but they are collapsible. So are these glued I down? I don't they know are. if you can see that, you see? So yeah. you punch them out, you punch them closed. Think about the storage. So if ever you had the, you know, the steel cups yes, that they kind take of up take up so much space, the punch them closed, fold them up like that. How so about great that? for storage. And again, standard size, throw them in your dishwasher and they don't take up half of your, your cupboard, half your drawer. Isn't Amazing. That great? And it also comes with measuring spoons. And the measuring spoons, which is great. Okay, and that is 50% off measuring cups and spoons. The salt box is next. Also 50% off. What is a salt box? Okay, this is made of acacia wood, which is a great, good quality wood, which kind of doesn't take on moisture. So you could put your salt in here. You could put your finishing salt down there. I have this beside my cooktop every single day. If ever you've been salting by shaking it out of the shaker, you're not in control. Every chef seasons by reaching into their salt box and sprinkling mm -hmm. on their salt, their finishing salts, their pink Himalayan salt. You could put a different spice in here. You could put your cracked pepper, your coriander, fennel seeds, chili flakes, whatever you like. But for me at home, Such I always cool have idea. kosher salt on top, black pepper on the bottom. And again, you always see chefs reaching in, controlling your seasoning. It's chic and it's the way to do it. And it looks beautiful. It looks That's beautiful. real acacia wood. That's it's real $9 acacia wood. For 47 Little magnet cents. there to close it off. Uh, it's great. I hope you're shopping with us. By the way, if you've, if you've already purchased something in our first hour of the day, then you'll automatically be in on the free shipping zone, which is any total order of $75 or more. Uh, the most you'll pay, of course, is that flat rate, so we really get it out to you. Number four, bottle and jar yes. openers for $9.97. Again, these are the lowest prices we have ever yep. offered, and you can pick this one in a couple colors, red or teal, yep. and you get a two-piece set here, and they open different sizes. You can open jars, a tiny right? little you know, water bottle size, a huge jar, everything in between. 
I love how you get two. One belongs in your kitchen, jars of different sizes. One belongs in your medicine cabinet for your medicine pill bottles, all that oh. stuff. One belongs in your bar, on your boat. So I love that you get two. Definitely check out hsn.com because we do have those recordings. I've demoed this item before and my mom called me immediately after and said, I need that. So think about right. anyone. And it fits around just about issues. any type of bottle, right? Any bottle, jar, water bottle. So again, you get nice the two, wide. put one in your kitchen, put one in your bar, put one in your medicine cabinet mm -hmm. for those pill bottles. And you don't have to bottles. ask for help. Like, hey, you can you help. open this? You know, we, you we've all been there. If you anyone with dexterity issues, oh, one more. that's the way to do it. Uh, citrus, the tool citrus tool and keeper. Also, number five of our five and five, it's 50% <laughs> off. Yep. Uh, this is like buy one, get one here today. So you get the citrus tool and you get the fruit keeper. So this is super cool because in the handle of the tool, you get the little knife to cut your lemon or lime in half. You get a zester. And then what you do, it comes with this little container. So... Oh. Two things you can do with this. You can store your it. fresh lemon juice in there and leave it in your fridge so you're not buying the bottled stuff. But also, what happens when you cut half a lemon, squeeze it and use it, and you've got the other half unused? Put it in here, store it in your fridge. So you're not using plastic wrap, mm -hmm. you're not just throwing it in to get dried out in your fridge. So totally smart. That. It's smart, it's cool. And you always know it's kind of, that's where my lemon cute. is. You're not, you're you not always uh, know. wondering and... Um, and then not using them. Yeah. Okay, we got another great little item we're gonna show you yeah. real quick. Uh, that's our five and five. What's the next item? Mm, let's go to the silicone we'll bags. Bags. Check this out. We're gonna we're gonna bring it down. Okay. We're gonna bring it down. <laughs> well, I'm this excited. Is a, oh, this is a two-minute special. Day of food today. So check this out. Silicone bags, <laughs> you get too large, too small. Everyone thinks, okay, food storage, which absolutely, you're not gonna rebuy plastic bags over and over again. But at Kitchen HQ, we take things always to the next level. These silicone bags, not just for food storage, they are microwave safe, they are oven safe, up to 450 degrees. You can put in the oven, you can put in the microwave, you can put in your dishwasher, you can freeze it. So for example, think about food storage. You take the small ones to, to work with a little bit of lunch. Mm -hmm. Let's say I make a big batch of soup or chili and I wanna freeze some. You could put it in the large size and boom, make it flat, put it in your freezer. I'm still thinking that you can put these in the oven? In the oven and in your microwave. Follow me on this one, Sarah. Okay. In fancy French restaurant <laughs> cooking, we have a, a technique called en papillot, where you make fish and vegetables in a parchment packet and bake it in the oven. You could do the same thing here. You're steaming your fish, you're steaming your vegetables. You could throw it in the oven with a little bit of liquid on, on, on the bottom, some stock, some wine, some water. Oh. Throw it in a 450 degree oven, throw it in your microwave. So I've done rice in here, I've done veggies in here, quick weeknight solutions. Okay. You can put a little bit of broccoli, cauliflower, whatever you want, throw it in your microwave, and it's basically going to steam inside the bag. It's BPA, totally safe, How do you open safe. it and close them? By the way, everyone's getting it's too small. It's a resealable seal everyone's at the top. Everyone's getting too large. Yep. Uh, so, Oh, you just pick your color, red or teal. So, I mean, again, think about just for food storage. You're not going to be buying those re those non right, reusable plastic bags. This can replace those sort of sandwich bags Absolutely. or quart-sized bags that we buy so all the time. So, just for storage, to take things, to freeze them, but then for cooking. That's a good idea. For cooking, Sarah, you could do stuff in the microwave. When my mm. kids need broccoli, cauliflower, go with their dinner. I'll put it in here, microwave it, off you go. You could do rice. You could put them in the Such oven. Such a cool idea. Really cool. All right, uh, those are very limited. So. Yep. Uh, Add that to your order. We're here with Chef Shahir Masood, by the way, yeah. and we're talking Kitchen HQ. Uh, his experience from the French Culinary Institute to working and owning some of the top restaurants to developing cookbook recipes. Yep. He's our guy. He's our <laughs> go-to. Let's talk about these electric kettles. Yeah. These have been like a huge, <laughs> huge trend in the yep. world of kitchen appliances. Uh, we do it best here at Kitchen HQ. Tell us about this electric kettle. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how it works. This electric kettle really controls the temperature of your water. And why is that important? You know, not everything is created equally. Coffee, tea, those should be at different temperatures. So for example, I just wanna show you how it works. Guys, if you could get onto this one, you get this beautiful digital display. Okay, and check it out. You can go to boil 200 degrees, 160, 180, 120, 140. So boil for me is great for a quick cup of noodles. It's great when my mm -hmm. kids want a quick pasta. It's sure. actually faster to boil your water in your kettle 
than stovetop. Huh. But boiling water isn't great for coffee and it actually isn't great for different teas. If you put hot boiling water onto coffee and tea, sometimes it makes it more bitter, it kills the flavors. So different coffees, different teas, if you talk about expensive coffee machines, ex expensive espresso machines, they control the temperature. At Kitchen HQ, we wanted to give you the same opportunity, but at home with your kettle. So here I press start, I've turned it on to boil, it's gonna come up. Over here I've got it at 180, and over here I've got it at 160, and you see that bright, beautiful digital display. This is not like that old school kettle, that rusty old kettle. You've got a stainless the steel interior. The one that interior. whistles and screams. The one that whistles. <laughs> this is high tech stuff. So look, I've got this one set at 160. I'm gonna give you a perfect okay. example. 160 is great for stuff like tea. Here I've got a black tea, but also simple stuff. My wife sometimes just likes lemon, mint, and ginger. And when you put boiling water onto lemon and onto to mint, what's gonna happen, Sarah? It's going to make the lemon bitter and it's gonna kill the mint. You still want those vibrant huh. flavors. So different teas and different blends are great at 160. However, I've got one over here at 180. Let's talk about more robust teas. You've got a green tea, you've got espresso. I'm getting really into doing my own espresso at home. This is basically taking the place of an expensive espresso coffee maker. I've got this one up to, I'm gonna turn it on again just to show you, 180. And you see that beautiful digital display. 200, boil, 180, 160. That 180 for me is great for an espresso or a robust tea. Okay, and, and by the way, this in. comes yep. on the simple base yep. that you plug in. Isn't that great? So in my household, this has taken over for that old kind of rusty and kettle, which I'm embarrassed to admit, I did have, but the whole idea of Kitchen HQ, Sarah, the whole lineup was designed to take simple, everyday kitchen problems mm -hmm. and find solutions. We There's wanted that digital There's a better way. Stuff. There's a better way. Uh, you can choose the white or the black. Yep. Uh, it is on sale, too, uh, for $39.95. Brand new. You're the very first to see it. I was just uh, noticing uh, the bottom, the base, which is really all you need. Yep. You just plug it right in. But notice how if you have this plugged in right near the outlet, you can hide the core in the back. There's that little cord keeper that goes all the way around. So that's a nice little feature. So you plug it in, you set it down. You're yep. not using your stove. Nope. You're not freaking out uh, which burner is on. Did I leave the burners on? Did I leave the house? Because this one actually has an incredible auto yep. shut off feature, right? So yeah. if you forget about it, if you leave the house, if you run out the door to walk the dog or get the baby, all you do is plug it in and then you add your water and then you pick your temperature. So you can choose one of many yep. preset temperatures or you can customize it. Tell us how it works. You customize it. So here you saw again, Sarah, I just turn it on and then you have all those different options. So this one is up to boil. This one I've set just to 180, and over here I've set it to 160. You could even go lower to 140 for really delicate jasmine teas, things, you know, herbal mm. teas, things where you don't want the flavor to be crushed by boiling hot water. But sometimes you do need boiling water. I've got a cup of noodles over here, or I want to do a quick, you know, portion of pasta. Boil your water quick and so knowing your exact temperature. it's temp. faster to boil water in a kettle. Absolutely. Than on the stove. And that, listen, that's a dad hack. I'm going to tell you, when my five-year-old says, <laughs> Dad, I'm hungry and I know the only thing he's going to eat is pasta, if I want to make one portion of pasta, I'll actually do it in my Kitchen HQ kettle because it's going to come up to a boil. Really? Super, super fast. So, so it boils faster in your kettle. Absolutely. Uh, so whether you're just making like a quick, you know, uh, bowl of oatmeal. Yep. Instant or oatmeal. Instant, instant cereal. Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Uh, maybe you need to add hot water to your favorite beverages. If you want to create, maybe if you want to do like iced teas, would you, would you start sure. with warm water first? And let it cool after that to wake up the flavors of the tea. And I think for the longest time with those old school kettles, you have no idea what temperature your water is. So really, uh, no. we would pour boiling water onto everything, onto espresso, <laughs> onto tea, onto oatmeal. And think about it. When you go to a coffee shop, they're not putting boiling water into everything. They've got high-tech kind of espresso machines controlling oh. the temperature of the water. So we said, why can't we do the same thing with a simple kettle? And now you've got that beautiful big digital display. 
They look chic. By the way, the interior is also made of stainless steel. Very important yeah, because depending on where you live, water can be hard or soft. So you don't want, if ever you've got a kettle and you look inside and you see those white stains on the inside of your kettle, you might have hard water. That means mineral in your water. So stainless steel interior, super important. Rinse Ooh, it out. And I like the spout too. The spout is awesome. It's got a little pour spout and uh, you can actually see it's got that kind of little built-in colander there too, just to kind of direct the pour. So you plug it in. This is also great if you don't have a full kitchen. Yep. You know, this is great for the office. Sure. This is great for a, a room that you share with others. Maybe it's your place of work. Maybe it's your place of worship on the weekends or you're like, you know what? We're always serving coffee and tea. It's also great when you're entertaining and yep. you don't want to make every single person a different cup of a yep. different temperature with a different kettle or some go in the microwave, some go on the stove. Some say they want it hot. Some say they want yep. it cool. So you can have one kettle that serves a lot of people. This is a big capacity, 1.7 liters. 1.7 liters, 1,500 watts, so you've got enough power for everything. And again, if you want to bake a, a boiling water for pasta, you've got 1.7 liters to do so. But my household, I'm a coffee so, drinker. Okay, I, I mean, that's a really dumb question. Sure. You're making the boiling water for the pasta. Mm -hmm. Do you put the pasta in the kettle? No, no, I'll boil the water, the water in the kettle and then transfer it to my pot, turn it on, boom, it's ready to go. I see. So then boiling 1.7 liters of boiling water to cook with, you do it super quick, put it into your pot. Ah. But again, think about those different hmm. temperatures. Old school kettle, Sarah, all we did was boil. All now we did you, was boil. Now you got the right temperature for an espresso. You've got the right temperature for a tea. You've got a right temperature even for ginger, lemon, mint, you know, all those things shouldn't be boiled at literally boiling. Mm -hmm. Delicate teas should be at 140, 160. More robust teas, you can go up to 180. A nice espresso, 200, just below boiling point. You're in control and you have the digital display so you know exactly your temperature. So how do you know what temperature your tea or your drink should be at? Well, you know what? We're gonna put that all up online and also it's worth a quick Google. If you're really into black tea okay. or green tea, do a quick Google and you'll see it it'll, really It'll quick. tell you. It will tell you, but okay. in general, I would say in general, delicate flavors, fresh Fresh mint and, and lemon should be lower. We don't want to bruise those flavors. We don't, want the, we don't want them to come bitter. More robust flavors need a little more heat to let them steep. Mm. So that's a great rule of thumb as well. Okay. If you're, if you're into more gentle, you know, fruity teas, lower. Bolder teas, higher. Espresso and coffee, 180 to 200. That's just below boil, and it makes a big difference. Okay, uh, we're very busy. This, these, these are, are brand great. new. You're the first to see it. I love that you're getting $10 off. I love that if you're already picking up some of the other great items in our shows tonight, we kicked it off with food. We kicked it off with prime rib. We kicked it off with boneless ham. Uh, this is all about holiday entertaining, whether it's Easter, whether it's Mother's Day, whether it's a graduation, or whether you're getting together with family and friends on a weekend. How are you going to serve? How are you going to feed? How are you going to entertain and make life simple for you? The last thing we need is any more stress or any more inconvenience, uh, whether it's shopping for food or whether it's finding the right tools. Kitchen HQ is always there for you. So it looks like both black and white are popular, black slightly out in front. Uh, but again, we have flex payments. And if you're new to HSN, you just hold up your phone, take your smartphone, open up your camera, hold up to the QR code, just like you're at a restaurant and you want to look up the menu, this one actually takes you right to our website. It takes you right to this exact item. So you don't have to go to your computer or sit down at your study or your home office at all. So uh, that's it on our amazing brand new electric kettle. These have been all the rage. Uh, just, these. you know, Google them. I'm sure you've read about them. I'm sure you've seen them on social media. But th this is kind of like the new way. Uh, we're taking care of our family and getting just all the perfect customized temperatures so yep. everything tastes that much better. All right, we're gonna go to our uh, kitchen sale online. And it's uh, just started about an hour ago. Oh, wow. special pricing. Everything you need for your great gathering. Oh, we're staying here and we're gonna give everybody we're gonna give everybody a moment to shop. That's a great idea. When we come back, we have the coolest baking sheets. I've seen you present mm -hmm. them. I've never had a chance to learn about them, but you're gonna learn with me. Baking sheets, coming up next. There's no better time to add one more item to your bag. 
Shop more and ship smart at HSN. Now you'll never pay more than $5.95 to ship your entire order and get free shipping when you spend $75 or more. For details, search shipping and authorization at hsn.com. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our gemstone enhancement chart. chatting we're cooking and the best part of all is we're gonna make it so much easier tonight thanks for so much for hanging out with us my name's sarah i'm here with chef shahir masood and we got one of the coolest things coming up next this is a ceramic yep. baking dish not your bent and broken nine by 13 mm -hmm. pan we're gonna we're gonna entertain in style we're celebrating our spring entertaining event today and what's so cool is not only can you pick your color red teal or white they're also twenty dollars off you're getting a true baking serving storing dish genuine ceramic oven safe up to 500 degrees and completely non-stick for $29.99 for the price of what you would spend on one of those like mm -hmm. simple baking pans at the grocery store, you're getting an incredible serving dish. Uh, so we talked about the three colors, red, teal, or white. Well, why ceramic? And why Kitchen HQ? Okay, so again, Kitchen HQ, our whole lineup was designed to make life easier and better in the kitchen. We wanted to find solutions. So Sarah, ceramic, why? First of all, non-stick so take something like a beautiful cheesy oh my gosh a cheesy lasagna it's almost unfair to have food this good at this hour Sarah <laughs> but we're gonna do it and I just want to show you I'm not afraid of cheese I'm not afraid of sugar I'm not afraid of anything that traditionally would stick to let's say a glass 9 by 13 mm -hmm. right oh it just slides look at this it slides right oh out. gosh it slides out mm -hmm. look at how good this looks the cheese is melting everywhere look at that oh gosh but look, I want to show you the bottom. Guys, can you see the shot of the bottom? They're look coming at this. in. Come in, coming guys. In close. Look at this. Totally non-stick. So when you think about it, we've all reached for that old school glass 9x13. Yes. And you're like, I dread cleaning this later. And you use it less often. With ceramic, by the way, can you also capture the smoke coming off of this? The steam coming off of this lasagna? The fact that it comes with the lid keeps food hot as well. So let's say you want to put this on your table. Mm -hmm. You can see that steam, guys. Look, that lid so is retains, so key. Retains the heat from the oven. It retains the heat. It looks great. And I call this an oven to table kind of ceramic but it's also oven to table because you can feel on the side Sarah careful you need chef fingers this has been out of the oven for about 20 25 minutes and it's still hot like okay. really hot I'm gonna, ooh, like hot that's enough been out to of the steam. oven 20 minutes that's about 20 25 minutes so imagine so you don't to, have to heat up your food when it gets to this your leftovers let's say you're you're going to or a your, potluck your second helping you're entertaining a crowd you could do a side dish put it on the table yep. put the lid on and it will stay warm so ceramic is a great conductor of heat. We also made it non-stick, so it's easy to clean. And 9 by 13, as someone who develops recipes professionally, 9 by 13 is a standard recipe yes. size for pasta Gotta bakes, for casseroles. Can. You need a 9 by 13. Uh, I want to give everyone some quick updates. This is not going to last. At, at $29.95, we took $20 off the price. 
It's baking in ceramic. It's getting even heating. It's maintaining the heat. You can bake, you can serve, you can store all in one pan. And they're be they're absolutely beautiful. Look at how gorgeous the color is. I have nine by 13 pans at home. I'll tell you what they're not. They're not nonstick. Uh, they're not gonna keep the heat. They're not gonna be easy to clean and they don't have a lid. This is probably the best $29 you'll spend and you can serve with style and just put it right there as the centerpiece, the focal yep. point of your table. We have red, teal, and white. White's the most limited, so you gotta call right now for the white. Red is the most popular. I, I don't know that anyone has had a chance to get this at $20 off, but it already is a customer pick, which means you're giving it rave reviews online. And it was fun to read them because yeah. people are just kind of blown away. It really does even out the heat. Right? It evens the heat. It's nonstick. The lid really keeps the, the heat in. But also, I love the depth. So you got three inches of depth, and what does that mean? You could roast a whole chicken in here. Today's special, that beautiful ham. You mm -hmm. could put the ham, some veggies underneath. That depth is important. Oh, yeah, there's the ham right you there. You fit the whole ham in there. <laughs> so the depth is key, Sarah, because it allows hot air in your oven to also circulate. So if it was any shallower, you couldn't put a big ham or a big roast chicken in there. Any bigger, and the hot air of your oven won't circulate. So Again, at Kitchen HQ, we thought of everything. The depth is right. The size is right. It's a standard size for so many different recipes. And also, it's ceramic. So it's non-stick and keeps heat in. Mm. This would be great without the say, lid, but with the lid, it's a kicker. Also, when you're feeding a family, does anyone in your family all eat at the same time? Uh, not if you have kids sure. and they have different activities, right? Yep. Someone has soccer practice. Someone has to go to their piano lesson. Uh, dad's got to go to work early. Mom just got home, so she might eat it first. Mm -hmm. This would actually keep the food hot for the whole family. No one has to put their food in the microwave. Nothing like mm -hmm. ruining a wonderful, crispy lasagna yep. by putting in the microwave, right? Absolutely. Or if you're someone who's like, you know what? I, I go to my mom's house every weekend for dinner, or we always gather at Aunt Sue's house on Easter Sunday. What if you brought your meal in one of these beautiful ceramic pans and it stayed warm and it is incredibly easy to serve in and it's easy to clean? At $20 off, you do not want to miss this. This is so impressive. By the way, this also make a great gift. Maybe you know someone who's getting married. Maybe you're thinking of a housewarming gift, a birthday, an anniversary celebration, where you want to bring something, but you also want to make sure that it looks good on the table. You don't have to put it in another serving dish. This is what you put in the oven, and this yeah. is what you serve. Last call on the white, red, very popular. Oh, look at the inside of the lid. That's nice. The inside is great. And you know what? I love the colors at Kitchen HQ. We do great colors. And for me, I've got a red theme going on in my house. But the colors are vibrant. Obviously a great gift. And again, it's oven to table. They look great, but they also keep the heat in. Now, we always talked about savory stuff. We've got a lasagna. We talked about casseroles. This is your side dish hero when you're entertaining mm -hmm. for a crowd come holiday time when your oven real estate is so, so right. important. You could do your dressing here, put the lid on, it will stay warm. Now your oven's freed up to do the carrots, the Brussels sprouts, sure. whatever else. So this is your hero at holiday time. But also think about sweets. You do your cinnamon rolls in here. You do your cobblers. Anything really sugary that you dread cleaning after, that nonstick ceramic is your sous chef hero in the kitchen because you're not worried mm -hmm. about cheese, you're not worried about sugar, you're not worried about anything sticking. Uh, this is such a great investment. Yeah. I think every kitchen should have one of these. Uh, if you've thought about getting ceramic or maybe you've thought about getting cast iron, uh, that can be very expensive. Uh, and those are great too, but this is a really nice option for yep. $29.95. I mean, this is like that little sweet spot. Like every time you cook in a nine by 13 pan, you're gonna cook in this instead. And that beautiful cake, that wonderful pan of brownies will not mm. stick to the bottom of the pan. Whether you're doing like a sort of one pan meal or you're doing lasagnas or you're doing like a, a baked macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm. these are the things that will just literally fall right out of the pan. So if you're soaking and scrubbing and waiting to clean your nine by 13 pan, <laughs> if, you're, if you're putting that off until the next morning because you're like, I'll let that sit overnight, you could have it cleaned in a heartbeat if you do have a non-stick ceramic pan. The fact that it stays warm, the fact that it's you can great. take it right to the table, I think it's a wonderful solution because uh, these are all kind of the go-to basics. These are the essentials, yep. right, that every family can use. If you do want the white, uh, I think we have like 100 left. If you do want the white, uh, red, also very popular. And oh, I actually only 80 left in the white. That white is about to sell out. Uh, and think about this. This would be a great gift 
Don't you say? And you know, the white, usually it's the red and the teal, but the white is classic. I think the white goes with any kind of kitchen decor. I, for one, I'm, got, I'm the red guy. But you're right, a great gift. And Sarah, it just kind of, if you can hear this when I close the lid, it feels quality. It feels, it's got that weight, that sturdiness of something that's quality. Mm -hmm. I like the depth of it too. The depth is uh, key. Because you can really put a lot in there. And then the fact that you could, could you just put it in the fridge too? You could put it in the fridge. I mean, when we talk about ceramic keeping temperature, you could put a pasta salad in here and it will keep it cold. So it's not just about oh. keeping hot. You're keeping cold stuff cold as well. So. Hot stuff, cold stuff, savory and sweet. Nine by 13 is the standard size for is, so many This is different what you want to have. If you go to potlucks, if you go to picnics, yep. uh, we do a lot of family picnics in my family and everybody has to bring something. Sure. Bring something to share, right? This is the keep bottom that potato of every salad invite. Safe. Right, you gotta, you gotta bring it and whether you want to keep it warm or cool, this is the idea. Uh, they are selling out, but I'm glad you're getting the sale price. <laughs> I'm glad you're uh, shopping online, hsn.com, because you don't want to miss out on any of these great values. Uh, uh, the teal is so pretty too. This is going to be a tough one, but no matter what color you get, know that they are truly non-stick. Yes, they're going to keep your food hot. And when was the last time you put a lid on a nine by thirteen pan? You probably don't have a lid. The lid on is those so key. Bent and kind of uh, overused and yep. often forgotten nine by thirteen pans that are sitting in our <laughs> the, and, the bottom of our oven drawer you right know, now. I'm right? so glad that they got that shot of the steam coming out because again, so now this has been out of the oven for. 25 minutes, maybe mm -hmm. close to half an hour. It's still, still hot, hot to the touch, not yeah. even warm. It's hot to the touch. So all those warm foods, Show side dishes. Show that nonstick uh, feature one more time out. in case anybody's that just tuning in. That cheesy lasagna, that nonstick coating. You can see the bottom of the pan. So this is without any water. Imagine if I just ran some water under this, boom, cleanup is done. So a cheesy pasta bake, cheesy cornbread, but also sugar mm -hmm. is the hardest thing to clean. If you're doing your cinnamon buns, if you're doing your cobblers, cakes, brownies. Last time yes. I did this, we had some brownies, which were really good. Cleanup is nothing. Just warm water, boom, 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 and you're done. Old school materials like glass, you soak them for 24 hours. You've got to mm -hmm. scrub them. We or you that have problem. to do the sprays. Or the sprays. A, the, there's got to be some weird ingredients but, uh, in those sprays is, in a can. And this is the thing. Or you've got to put grease or flour or whatever, right? And you don't want right? that stuff. No. And you don't end up reaching for that when you know that the cleanup will be a disaster. When you know you don't worry about cleanup, you end up using it mm -hmm. more and more and more. That standard size, 9 by 13, as a professional recipe developer, I can tell you that is a standard size. Right. So you will have so Take many Take it from the recipes. expert. Uh, by the way, white, uh, unless you're in the ordering process, we're gonna call that gone. Uh, teal and red are so pretty. Wouldn't you love to bring that to your next little family gathering? Or, you know, maybe you're having a, a, a little chili cook-off at work. You know, mm. these, are, these are the reasons why we love being with family and friends. Bring your food, it's always fun, and this is $20 <laughs> off today. It's awesome. It sure is, okay, last call red, last call teal. Don't go anywhere, because what we have next is my favorite item of the hour. My favorite item wow. of the hour. What will it be? I gave you a hint earlier, were you listening? Hey, while you're shopping for great kitchen products, you might need some HP products. Uh, we've got computers, we've got desktops, we've got laptops, we've got printers. Uh, HP is such a great brand. And we have exclusive offers here at HSN that you cannot find anywhere else. And they all come with five interest-free monthly payments. You can space those payments out over the next five months. Uh, but check it out online. And be sure, while you're online, check out our best value of the day. We'll have another presentation in about 25 minutes or so. But you can check out the brand new ham and the amazing juicy tender prime rib from Scudo and Sons. Okay, my favorite item of the hour. I've <laughs> seen you present this. Yep. I do not own it because I want you to explain what this is for anybody who's just tuning in. What I will say very quickly yep. is that it's a customer pick. It's on sale for $16.95. You're gonna get a four pack of four. these really cool baking sheets. And when I saw what they could do, yep. I was so impressed. 
So you have to show everybody what these can do because these are these are really awesome. Okay. I, I wish I would have thought of this myself. So I gotta say that we have a whole day of great chefs on the network. They're gonna be mad at me because I'm giving away a restaurant secret. Every great restaurant uses these silicone baking mats that have a fiberglass mesh. You can see that fiberglass gives you even color, even cooking, and also it's non-stick. So if you think in fancy restaurants we're reaching for like parchment paper or tin foil every time we're baking, every time we're roasting, no chance. For years, we used this technology from a fancy French brand, and at Kitchen HQ, we said, well, hold on. Let's do it for our home version and do it the same way. So for example, when we're baking, we have even color on the bottom of whatever we're baking, croissants, cookies, scones. Because of that fiberglass mesh, if ever you bake something and you found that some spots were, were brown, some spots were pale, yeah. you've got to you know, circulate the tray, you never Why does have that to do happen? that. That's happening because you're not getting even heat. But right. because we have that fiberglass in the silicone mesh, you're getting even heat, even coloration. All the cookies will look the same. All the cookies, all the, all your baked goods will look the exact same, but it also makes it non-stick as well. And you don't have to clean the pan. Here's all you need to do to choose. You just pick your color. They're all gonna kind of look the same throughout the middle, uh, but then they have a nice little kind of colorful, fun trim. And all you do is pick your color. So the colors are, the one I'm holding is called, I believe you said rose. And we have black and we have red and we have teal. Everyone is getting four of these. And these are 16 and a half by about 11 and a half. So yep. this fits what, your standard? Your standard sheet baking tray, baking sheet. tray that you got here. So you would put this down yep. before you put anything on your tray. Put it down before you bake, before you roast. Savory, sweet. Again, this has been a professional kitchen you know, secret for years. We're not using parchment and we're not using foil. We, we used basically a fancy French brand where each one was almost 50 bucks. So the fact that we get four for that price to me is crazy, but it's the same technology. It's that fiberglass mesh makes it even coloration, even heat mm. so and non-stick. what's on here that's so not sticking? Check this out. I've done some brittle here. You can do your chocolate bark. You could put hot caramel onto this. Oven safe up to 500 degrees. So nothing will stick to this. This is literally just my favorite candy, a little bit of melted chocolate. And look, you get the perfect flat bottom. I want you to make your peanut brittles, your, your chocolate clusters. Put your caramel on here. Everything will stand up to that. Wow. Because it's up to 500 degrees Look at and that. it will not nothing stick. Nothing. Perfectly stuck. flat, nothing stuck. Again, think about your baking. You get that perfect, even color. And then sheet pan dinners. Forget baking for a second. Forget about your sweet tooth for a second. Think about sheet pan dinners. We make a lot of those. Look at how many different pieces of salmon and asparagus mm -hmm. you get on there. Even color on the bottom and non-stick. You're not reaching for parchment. You're not reaching for tin foil. It's expensive. It's bad for the environment. You're using these over and over and over again. Put them in your dishwasher when you're done. And that's that. So it's the same technology we've used in restaurants for years. You'll never use tin foil or parchment paper ever again in the oven. And I always feel nope. horrible throwing away that tin foil that has food on it that I yep. can't quite save, I can't quite reuse. Uh, and that's just, what, money down the drain? You buy these four sheets today, you get four sheets for $16.95. You get the lowest price we've ever offered on a customer pick. Read yep. the reviews on these. I'm gonna actually read some of them for you. Oh. Because uh, the rave reviews are coming in. And whether or not you're the cook or you're on cleanup duty, the mm. best part is, is once these come out of the oven, yep. you lift up the mat and the pan underneath is perfectly clean. So you don't have the baked on sugars or mm -hmm. the burnt frosting or maybe it's the candies, it's the cookies, it's you know the sauces from your vegetables. Nothing like that is sticking. Okay, here's some reviews. Use these for our Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. They worked well, they were easy to clean. Love them and we'll recommend them to family and friends. Like people are talking yeah. about these baking sheets. Uh, here's one, these are very nice. Seen them on a few cooking shows. That's right, everybody yep. who watches Everyone cooking used, shows. Mm -hmm. And you said these are used in all the fine yep. restaurants, all the chefs you see today on our 24 hour spring entertaining event. We'll talk about these. They're amazing, <laughs> would buy again. Says another one, uh, Sunny in California says, I love baking and cooking with these. Cleanup is a breeze. Oh, so happy with this purchase. Honestly, if you use them once, it would feel like they were worth the price. 
if it saved you on all yeah. the cleanup. But the fact is, these are easy to clean. Yep. And you just use them over and over again. How do use you clean them these? Use them over and over again. Again, you can either, depending on what you're cooking, you can rinse them off with water or just throw them in your dishwasher. You've got that same ah. technology, that same fiberglass. I hope you guys can see it. That fiberglass weave makes even browning, even coloration. You're never gonna rotate so your cookies again. You're never gonna rotate your baked goods again. Right. You're never gonna rotate anything. You're gonna get even browning on the bottom of whatever you're Doesn't baking. feel like metal in there. It's Did a fiberglass kind of mesh. Yeah. Right? So Look this technology, so Sarah, sloppy. was started by a fancy French company years ago. And when they started, it was expensive, like really expensive. And that's why you only saw it in restaurants. Over the years, we figured out a way to make it an at-home version. And it's the exact same technology so this truly is a restaurant hack this is something we've used for years and in my house I'm telling you I'm not fighting with rolls of parchment I'm not fighting with rolls of tin foil you get four of these so throw one down there for savory throw one down for sweet throw it in your now dishwasher we're very busy and off you go okay let me talk about the colors uh, just pick whatever one mm -hmm. you know speaks to you uh, red is most popular, so you can get four in the red, you can get four in the teal, you can get four in the rose, you can get four in the black. Uh, really, they all work the same, but I just, we love that we give you options and you can match some of the colors that you already have in your kitchen. Uh, I just would not miss this. So if you see it on air right now, and that sale price says $16.95, uh, you, gotta, you gotta jump on these real quick. Baking. Oh, and also kneading dough if you just want to like create a clean workspace, right? Absolutely. So this is, I mean, and again, all those reasons, Sarah, this is why it's been a professional kitchen staple forever. I'm talking to those bakers who have had to rotate over the years, who have noticed spotty browning on yes. parts. It's because parchment and foil aren't doing what a fiberglass mesh weave is gonna do. That's gonna give you even heat for the bottoms of whatever you're baking. You're not rotating ever again. And non-stick. When I'm roasting chicken, when I'm roasting salmon, I'm using a silicone mm -hmm. baking mat on the bottom so that my tray is clean. I'm not scrubbing at the end of the process. So you can even use these on our today's special, like uh, baking a ham yep. for Easter, baking the prime rib. Throw it on the bottom, put the ham rib. a cake for a baby shower. Yep. Uh, show us what you have over here. Uh, by the way, we're very busy. These I, are great. I don't want you to miss out. Here's what I would do. Because these are so highly recommended and already such fan favorites here at HSN and my personal favorite item of the entire hour uh, I'm gonna get a set today too because I'm not always the chef uh -huh. but I'm always on cleanup duty and if I see my husband stick another baking pan from salmon from roasted vegetables from those one sheet pan meals in the sink any longer <laughs> that I'm gonna have to clean later right you always you're very good at leaving the sink hey he cooks so I'm not complaining but I don't really want to have to scrub that or soak that. This will give you a clean pan every single time. If that's all, the only reason you pick it up today, I think it's going to be well worth the price. But yeah, if you're making a mess, it Absolutely. just uh, it keeps you. Uh, it's the way to do it. Keeps you uh, from keeping your surfaces clean. We'll tell you when the baking sheets sell out. Don't miss out on those. Uh, those are going quick. And then we've got this really cool rolling pin. Yeah. And w wait a minute. It's eight dollars and seventy-seven cents, and it's adjustable. <laughs> adjustable. Why do we need an adjustable rolling pin? Okay, so you can see here on the side, you can adjust the exact thickness or thinness of whatever you're rolling out. So a biscuit dough, for example. I don't want that paper thin. I want the height of the biscuit. So on my red attachment here, I'm going to get three quarters. Sorry, three eighths of an inch, and it will make sure that every single part of that dough is the same thickness or thinness that you desire. So if ever you've rolled something out and some are that thin and some are- really cool isn't that really cool idea? Genius? So you cannot go thicker, you cannot go thinner. It's totally designed for that. Over here, I've got a pie dough. Obviously it has to be a bit thinner. So mm -hmm. I just take those colored attachments. Here I've got a quarter of an inch, super thin. And look, every single part of that pie dough is the exact so thinness it is, ends up be. being the right thickness because That's of right. what's on the edges. These plastic little pieces at the mm -hmm. edge, you adjust. So the red is Here, three Here, show eighths. everybody that again. So you're picking different yep. sizes That's to right. create the width of the dough or the... 
And Sarah, this solves two problems. If ever you've rolled wow. something out and you can't get an even thickness or thinness, yes. oftentimes the edges are thinner and the center is thicker. Right. Oftentimes that happens. We at KitchenHQ said, how do we make sure it's totally even all the way across? Those little colorful plastic end links are gonna make sure that you get total even thinness okay. the whole way through. But what's even more important, this is stainless steel. Now, mm -hmm. why is that important when you're rolling things out? I've got a biscuit dough, I've got a pie dough. I wanna keep it cold. I don't want that biscuit dough or pie dough to warm up. When they warm up, oh. they shrink in the oven and they get yes. greasy. The butter in the dough okay. comes out and gets greasy. So you'll oftentimes see recipes say, keep your dough cold. So at Kitchen HQ, we said, okay, stainless, you know what? Steel, stainless steel is the way to go. Uh, when I make those Christmas cutout cookies, you know, where they have to like be a certain shape, like a star or a snowman. If that dough gets too warm, it just turns into a big blob, <laughs> Exactly, right? you gotta keep it cold. Okay, let's make ice cream. Okay. Ice cream, ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. And uh, you won't have to scream very long. <laughs> because we're gonna make ice cream from scratch with the freshest ingredients in 15 to 25 minutes? Yep. Yes, we are, and it's soft serve at home. This is the most fun, most clever, most delightful idea. If you want a crowd pleaser, this is the way to go. And you know what else you get? You also get four of the ice cream bowls and four of the ice cream spoons. I want to show you these bowls and these spoons because they're so cute. And nowhere else are the bowls and the spoons included. It looks like kind of that fun cone shape and they're all color coded. And then you get four of the spoons. Great for the entire family. So you get everything you need to get started. All you do is add your own fresh ingredients, right? So, Sarah, check this out. This is the perfect consistency for soft serve. Now, I have a very hard job. I had to develop recipes for this soft serve machine. <laughs> I had to buy stretchy pants that week, but the <laughs> recipes are online, so you can make the perfect vanilla ice cream, the perfect chocolate ice cream, green tea, peanut butter ice cream, but also sorbets. I'm gonna show you sorbets in a second. Control your sugar, control your fat, control if you're lactose intolerant. Make a lactose-free right. gelato. Making homemade soft serve ice cream is about a few things. It's about controlling your ingredients, and it's about having fun and bringing that soft serve experience to your home. I really just want to grab one of these spoons and show you the consistency that you get. It truly is that soft serve consistency. So this isn't that store-bought rock hard ice cream. Right. This is that smooth soft serve that you're used to, to getting at a, you know, a, a soft serve ice cream parlor. To do it at home, Yes, it's about controlling your ingredients, having fun. It's about getting kids involved, getting grandkids involved. This is an activity. This isn't just yeah. an indulgence. This is about I doing something have together. I such fond memories of my family mm. making ice cream on a summer day. And we would always be like, Dad, Dad, are we going to make the ice cream? We'd be like, I have to get Yum. the ice. I have yeah. to get the rock salt, right? And, we're, and then we have to wait hours while he took that machine and would plug it sure. in and it would you know we would wait hours and hours but you can have fresh soft serve ice cream in 15 to 20 minutes and it's going to be ice cream where it is your favorite ingredients that you customize right and they can be fresh ingredients whole ingredients yeah and you know what i think sometimes people get intimidated by making ice cream at home but like I said, I put up a bunch of recipes online. A great ice cream, this is yours by the way, a oh, little bit of vanilla, and top it the way you like. So a Ooh. great ice cream, this is so fun with kids, great with idea. grandkids. A great ice cream is only a few ingredients. Cream, sugar, vanilla, and that's basically it. Now if you do half cream, half milk, you've got a gelato basically. So you have control, okay. you could do a frozen yogurt, you could do a sorbet. But you will be shocked at how simple. That is so good. And the consistency. Oh wait, do they get recipes? They, they get my recipes that I created okay, specifically for this. All you do is pick your color, red or gray. They're both going very quickly. You can't, honestly, you mm. cannot take mm. the family out for ice cream twice for this price. And it's because so easy. Because ice creams are expensive. It'll cost you, uh, 
let's just be very conservative. Five dollars a pop for some of those sure. ice cream shops. Uh, depending on where you go, it can add up really quickly. If you have more than a few people that you want to serve ice cream to, yep. this would be the way to do it. Once you get the base down, so the base mm. vanilla ice cream, from that base, you can really play with your flavors, right? You can get into chocolate, green tea, peanut butter, maple, whatever. And people are shocked when they see how easy the base is. From that base, you can now go half milk, half cream. Now you got gelato. You can have yogurt. You got frozen yogurt. Mm. I'm gonna show you sorbet in a second. Okay. No added sugar. So making your soft serve at home gives you the control for your sugar. You can use low fat milk. You control your fat. You control your flavors. You control lactose. And you control what you feel like making. Ice creams, gelatos, and frozen yogurts, and sorbets. You can make everybody the one mm. they want. Right? Because uh, I've been to my... One of my mm. relatives' house, and someone is sugar-free. Yeah, absolutely. Someone else is lactose-free. Yep. At my parents, there's like four different kinds of sorbets and ice creams in their freezer, and you're like, okay, wait, whose is this? Is this yours? Is, can you have that? Can you eat this? Oh, I'm allergic to nuts. Okay, that's not for you. You can actually make it yourself at home. Think about all the money you would save. Sure. If you, if you wanted to make it lactose-free or fat-free or non-dairy or non-sugar or maybe you want nothing but really great whole milk and putting in your own natural flavors, not artificial flavors. And beyond all of that, I speak from personal experience. Mm. Think about the fun. Think about, yes, you're controlling your ingredients, your flavors. Look at the soft serve consistency. Okay. But think about the fun you're going to have with your kids, with your grandkids. This is a blast. Are you kidding? Do you know how much fun kids they have when they turn on the lever? They love to participate in ice cream. Right? You've got kids. I was a kid. My son goes crazy when he pulls the <laughs> lever and he sees it come out. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's super cool. So, uh, I was just going to say real quick, I want to remind you, you're getting the bowls and the spoons yeah. and you're getting the machine. Uh, if you were to break this down and purchase separately, it'd be $136. It's not $136 today, it's $69. So it's an incredible savings. And I would love for you to pick it up today because I don't know if or when we will ever have this back. I think it'd be so fun if you know that you're gonna be having family over for Easter, maybe you're gonna be doing some uh, things with the kids soccer team, yeah. or maybe you've got you know everybody coming over after their big chess game. What are, what are your kids up to, you know? What do they want to do? Say, go make some ice cream. That's what, if I was a parent, I would go just tell that. them, go make the ice go cream. Make the ice and they'd cream. be like, yeah! Or maybe they're having slumber parties. Maybe they're having sleepovers. Maybe it's a fun birthday where you want to have that kind of make your own Sunday. Kids love to put on their own toppings and customize it. And you just made a sorbet, right? So now this is a sorbet, Sarah. I want you to try this sorbet. Okay. I'm in a giving mood. <laughs> a little strawberry sorbet, fresh fruits. Okay. Have a taste, you'll see you get mm. the same soft serve consistency. Zero added this. sugar. Look this is just it frozen is. strawberries. A little bit of water. Look at that. Get creative, you can put some oh, lime zest in there. Whatever frozen fruit you love, buy it. Don't add sugar and you get this beautiful frozen Look soft serve creamy. consistency. Because you so, know what I don't like about sorbet that you buy in the freezers at the grocery store? Yeah. You have to carve it's it icy. out. It's icy. You have to carve it out, like yeah. one little flake at a time, yeah. right? It's not soft. It's not creamy. You get the soft serve experience from a sorbet. No added sugar. And you're Ooh. totally right. Store-bought sorbet, you're chiseling it away or it melts. So get the soft serve experience with sorbet, with gelato, with frozen yogurt, and of course with your simple you ice cream. Can you just with like fruits? That's what this is. What you're eating right now is it's just frozen strawberries, yeah. blend it up with a splash of water. Sometimes I add lime zest and I, I put it in the machine. No added sugar. Wow. That's, it. That's all That's you're eating. That's really good. It's if delicious. You're, if you're trying to, you know, make a few easy switches, yep. Sometimes just switching out a few things on your menu can make a difference. Garnish with fresh berries, garnish with a little bit of fresh mint, and there you go. You're not missing out on that serve, that soft serve experience. Mm. Oh my God. I just wanna like lick the spoon. We're very busy. I don't know how long these are gonna last, both gray and red selling evenly. Okay. 
and because you get the cups, because you get the spoons, it'd be a fun gift too. You know, maybe you know somebody who, uh, maybe it's your your daughter who's got kids or your son who has children. Uh, maybe you're an auntie or an uncle like me and uh, you're always thinking of fun things to send the family. I would totally send this to my niece and nephew in a heartbeat because I know they like to get involved in the kitchen and I know they also like to eat ice cream. Uh, because that's one thing I do is I take them out for ice cream when I see them. It is not cheap to take the kids to ice cream. Of course not. I mean, you hit it right on the head. I mean, if you're spending five, six, seven bucks per soft serve yeah. big cone, I mean, there you go. And you have no control. The amount of fat, sugar, right. preservatives that you're eating. Here I've got a mango sorbet now. Again, oh. pick your, fro your favorite frozen fruit. This is just frozen mangoes from the grocery aisle, from the mm -hmm. frozen aisle. Blend it up with a little bit of water. Get creative. Lemon zest, lime zest, you can. But that's all this is. And you see the consistency. I'm so glad you said that, Sarah, because when you buy sorbet, it's ice. It's like a rock. Yeah. You don't get this smooth, <laughs> beautiful consistency. Chisel away at it. Can I can I have a little taste this of that? This is one yours. Too? Oh, these are all mine? Yeah. I told you I had my ice cream week at I've home. I've been eating nonstop <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> but that's healthy. Where are don't the stretchy worry. pants? I need the stretchy pants. There's no sugar. No added sugar. Oh. I just got permission to have another bowl of ice cream. There's no sugar. Look how creamy this go. is. You're basically this eating is fruits. Mango. You're good. Mango sorbet. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of that bite. Isn't that good? It's so different when it's fresh ingredients. No added sugar. It's literally frozen it fruit. It tastes like fresh mango. It tastes like fresh mango. And you get that mouthfeel. You get the mouthfeel experience of a soft serve ice cream. So think about... Now you can make cones too, right? If they, of course, if they, you can if put the cone right underneath, right? Just like, just like they do with the you know fun little soft serve ice cream shops, you can have that experience at home too. But you are getting the cups, you are getting the spoons, and you're getting a crazy value, uh, over $130 uh, to buy this at retail. We, we've created it for you. So you can add toppings, and you, how do you put the mix in? This is all you do. You pour the mix in the top chute here and let the machine do its work. It's gonna churn the ice cream or gelato or frozen yogurt or sorbet. Yeah. Depending on what you're making, it'll go for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then you pull the lever and out it comes. And wait till you see wow. your kids, your grandkids, your own face light up as it comes out directly into your bowl, directly into your cone. And get creative, have fun with the gelatos, the frozen yogurts, the sorbets, and then set out a little bar with the toppings, gummies, cookies, shaved coconut it's so much yeah. more fun to do it together than to go out and buy it it sure is because uh, what do you do when you go out and buy it you stand mm. in line because anytime I've ever gone out for ice cream it's always like you know that hot day where everybody's mm. lining up on a Saturday afternoon after they take the kids to the pool or the beach this is ice cream any day your way and it's so affordable today if you use this twice, it'll pay for itself. You buy the ingredients, you customize it. You're lactose free, you're, you know, I'm lactose full. Sure. I, I like lots of lactose. Uh, maybe you're someone who doesn't like chocolate. Maybe you're someone who only wants sorbet. Maybe you want to try different flavors. Maybe you want to try, alm could you do almond milks, rice milks, you do nut, milks. nut milks? Keep this in mind also. I have a cousin who has a severe gluten allergy. She mm -hmm. can't buy commercial ice creams because there's oftentimes cross-contamination. Oh. So if you have a gluten allergy, if you're watching your sugar, if you're watching your fats, if you wanna just have a fresh frozen sorbet, you have control and you have the fun. So I want you to really think about ice creams, frozen yogurts, sorbets, think about controlling allergies, your sugar, your fat, your lactose. And again, the great news is I've developed a bunch of recipes specifically designed to be soft serve so you get that smooth mouthfeel no matter what you're making. And that's what we want. We want that, we want that feeling, we want that incredible mm. creaminess. We don't want to dig, we don't want to chisel, we don't want to, you know, get like an ice pick and get out the ice cream. My favorite is when someone gets ice cream out and they're like, oh, it's got a sit on the counter for a while and I'm like no no, no I want ice cream now. You want it now. Or maybe you have sort of one of those old-fashioned ice cream makers where you have to 
literally think about making the ice cream hours and hours in advance. This is right after dinner. If you're in the mood for ice cream, you can have ice cream in 15 to 25 minutes, yep. depending on you know what flavor and what style you're going for. You're just 15 to 20 minutes away from having an amazing homemade soft serve experience that reminds you of your favorite trips to that soft serve ice cream shop with your family and friends when you were a kid. And the fact that you can make a lot of healthy frozen desserts, this is something that you want to consider. Now, let's say I made a batch and I don't eat it all. Yeah. Can I put it in the freezer? Absolutely. So again, my recipe is designed not just to be used in the machine, but to store in your freezer without getting icy, without getting crystallized. You'll get that soft okay. serve experience no matter what you're making. I gotta Simple go back sorbet. to the mango. I think we're both on the sorbet train right now. You could do strawberry and lime, you could do mango, you could do pineapple, your favorite frozen fruit. You just blend it up with no added sugar and soft serve it so that it's smooth. I'm telling Green. you, you would not miss the sugar, you would not right? miss the milk, you would not miss the cream if you tasted the sorbet. Like it you were shocked so when I told you I didn't put any sugar in it. I thought. <laughs> right? And so I'm someone who knows and loves sugar very well, Shahir. I was, mm. I, I could be convinced. I, I could so be a good. convert to the sorbet. Imagine this in a frosé, rosé all day. You can do it. Cheers, Cheers. to ice cream. Uh, congratulations. They were very, very busy. Mm. You can either do the gray, you can do the red, uh, but either way, you're going to get the most amazing sorbet ice cream soft serve. You can make frozen yogurt, make it your way, and I'm so glad you were watching and shopping with us today. Thank you to our chef, Masood. Uh -huh. Thank you, everyone, for watching from home. Hey, I'll see you Tuesday night with What a